if you're addressing a person or in in terms of their externals and their external values and their they live in the external world how would you address that person as opposed to another character who actually lived a very internal world who how, how would you reflect that in the color palette that they how work flamboyant with? yes in one sense how flamboyant and the other how inward inward if source so it, to speak. It, 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 somebody who's very inward is not as aware of the outward appearance, somebody who's very flamboyant and extrovert. And therefore, a lot of those people tend to neutralise how they look. They won't have flamboyant shapes. They won't... If you take Lord Foppington as a character where the word fop comes from Lord Foppington, and that was an interesting example of colour. How do you make... In a current society, how do you make Lord Foppington, who was very aware of his clothes and very um, aware of how he looked in society and how he set the fashion, when the audience sees that in a historical period, how do you say to a contemporary audience, even in this period, which is uh, over the top, to a contemporary audience, how do you say to them that Lord Foppington is completely over the top, completely exaggerated? How do you do that from colour? And in that case, I actually chose a very contemporary fuchsia and black and silvers so that there was a flash to it, uh, uh, an edge to it that was so obviously apart from the other characters. But you then still have to have a theme. And again, this goes back to rules. What is your palette? You know, how, what is your rule? How do, you, how do you break the color palette of everybody else? The world that you've created for everybody else. So again, it's detail. A fuchsia is a fuchsia is a fuchsia. And that fuchsia is affected by the colors around. So the a fuchsia. You mean literally affected by the colors around it? Yeah. So it'll because shift depending contrast. who's wearing what where. Yes. So if you put somebody in fuchsia against people who are wearing different shades of pinks and reds and so on, it'll have a totally different effect than if you put somebody wearing fuchsia against people who are wearing greys and beiges. Right. So you, you can use color that way. If it's an introverted person, if you put color vibrant colour onto them. You're saying something about their personality that isn't what the character is about. Who is this person? Why is this person? And often with young designers, I'll give them an example of, OK, if this person was to go and shop in a contemporary setting, what sort of clothes would they buy? Would they go and buy a bright orange T-shirt? Or would they go for a grey and white pinstripe shirt, which in itself is a texture and is flashy? Would they go for um, just a plain grey shirt right. and a grey cardigan and grey trousers or matte surfaces or neutral colours? Right. Or would there suddenly be, they'd have, a say, a grey blazer, but there'd be a point of a, of a um, taffeta pocket handkerchief in white or red, a white handkerchief in a right. man's breast pocket, and especially if it's not white cotton, you say it's white satin, it's a little odd.